What's up? What's up? Man, I love New York, especially living in the ghetto. I live in the ghetto. And uh, you can always tell you live in the ghetto is because it's always that distinguished smell of marijuana, right? But let me tell you about living in the ghetto. It's the bootleg DVDs, let me tell you. I brought a bootleg portal to shit had commercials. I was ready to handle my business in the living room and the Advil commercial come on. I'm just like, oh shit. I think I do got a headache though. But the one thing I hate about New York right now is that the subway fares is going up tomorrow, right? That's crazy. You can no longer make reckless decisions on what you're going to do with your money. It's either call out or how you going to get some chips and a soda. <laughs> call out. But let me tell you why. I hate rush hour. See, like, I remember I was late. I was sleeping one time on the train on my way to work. And I just feel some hippie in the forehead. Pat. 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 I'm like, yo, this lady bag hit me. I'm going to say something. Pat. Pat. I'm like, yo, if a bag hit me one more time, I'm going to say something. Pat, I woke up. It's this big black guy in sweats from the gym and his dick was hitting me on the forehead. Now, I wasn't mad at the fact that his dick was hitting me on the forehead. It's that nobody woke me up. See, I could have been on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, got forced to sleep on the train, dick on the forehead. Now I got three million likes. Like, no, no, I'm not having that. No. no. But uh, I know we got a few couples in the house. Where are couples at? Right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember, you remember the first time you dated somebody on the, the different race from you? I, I remember the first time I dated a girl in the opposite race. I was just like, all right, you know, she ain't never been with a black guy, so I was like, you know, take it to the dark side. So I told myself, like, all right, you know, I gotta keep the spice alive. I gotta, I gotta just keep it alive. So every guy has to always imitate a movie. So I was like, all right, you know, I got out the shower. Then I'm like, all right, I hit the bedroom. I was like, I'm gonna do, do the Star Wars. So I walked in like Darth Vader. I was just like. Pfft. That made me wait for so long. Please come to the dark side. You will be an amazing Jedi in the morning. video before come on yeah see you yeah <laughs> no i remember listen hey there's nothing wrong with doing the sex video but don't watch that shit if you ain't been to the gym in a while i remember the first time i made a sex video i was just like yeah you know i can't sleep let me watch this tape i'm looking at it i woke up i punched it right in the heart i said what the fuck is this she was just like what, what, what's, what the hell's your problem i'm like i'm hitting it from the back man i ain't know i had two dimples in my lower back I Shit. Oh no. So I'm, I'm hitting it from the side. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, girl, you didn't tell me you was pregnant. She was like, that's you. I said, oh shit. Oh. I took that take to the gym that night. My trainer's like, yo, you know, what's, what's up? What you want to work on? I said, motherfucker, look at me. I look like a panda. But I'm going to leave you with this last thing before I go. So I just recently became a godfather. My ex-girlfriend made me the godfather of her, her brand new baby girl. I think, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, she's, uh, she might be a freak though. Because, uh, see the baby, right? The baby, she take the bottle and she start squirting the bottle all over her face. And I'm just like, damn, girl, you just like your mother. <laughs> Thank you, I'm DC. Thank you. DC, everybody, DC.